right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something wrong. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the cards. for this featherweight tilt. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for this Ready. one. Dateline, Houston, Texas, always going to be back in the H-Town as we get underway here from Toyota. Switch kick lands. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Archer, there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this fight to the ground, and he was certainly able to do so. There. He felt like he had a massive advantage of the rest of if he attempted takedowns, he was secure. Let's see what he does from this position. Great job landing from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Setting up for an arm lock now. What a tight arm ball. His head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to hold him. Yeah, absolutely. Go. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. Oh, that's got to be it. Everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call a shot is always fun. 
He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Grandmaster! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Here. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight, oh, got submission victory.